Well, the goal of our study was to apply the appropriateness criteria that were developed by the American College of Cardiology and the American Coll of Ra College of Radiology on cardiac CT, which is a test using a CT scanner to examine the heart. Uh, the appropriateness criteria themselves is a way that is a, is a set of t uh, rules that the American College of Radiology and, Car and Cardiology came up with to decide is this a test that we should do or not do. Uh, and using those criteria, we looked at c cardiac CT patients and found that uh, nearly half of those patients, 45%, were not even classifiable using the criteria. We found no place for them to fit into the current criteria. 28% uh, of the patients were classified as appropriate. 10% uh, of the patients were uncertain. That is, we, we found where they fit in the criteria, but we couldn't, we, the criteria themselves don't uh, didn't give us information as whether they were appropriate or not. And then 17% of the patients were classified as inappropriate using the criteria. Well, cardiac CT uh, is a painless, non-invasive test that's really easy for a referring physician, referring physician to order. Uh, and so there, it's been targeted specifically for potential problems with overuse. Uh, so we decided here at Mayo to take a look at our cardiac CT patient population, apply these uh, criteria and what we found is that there were inappropriate studies and now we feel we can go back and try and address some of those issues with referring physicians uh, to try and lower the number of appropriate indications. In addition, uh, we found that there were large gaps in these criteria and that uh, continued work on them and reform with the criteria is going to be needed to apply the criteria to patients uh, to, c to cover them completely without leaving out their certain indications. Something that patients can really take away from this is that uh, it's good to be proactive in your health care, especially in the, in the sense of appropriateness, that they can ask their physician, is this test something I really need right now? Um, it, is it appropriate with what's going on in my, in my health care right now? Or is it something that might not be appropriate right now or might be more appropriate later on down the road?